Hi, my name is Kathy Johnson, and I'm a brain trainer. I wanted to tell you what I do and why I do it. Uh, I've been working for over 12 years, and um, I've been learning uh, for the first few, putting together what I think was the most effective, um, least expensive program uh, so that more and more people could access it. So that's my goal in life is to get this information to people in a way that they can afford uh, to get their brain trained. Uh, since 12 years ago, I've been working with many people uh, as young as five years old, as old as 70. And some of the issues that I've been working on and the things that I've been seeing um, are these. I've seen amazing, amazing things. I've seen children get out of special ed and onto the honor roll within like a year, year and a half. Uh, I've seen children that I've worked with uh, grow up and go to four-year private schools and doing well. They weren't really expected to even go to college. I've seen people um, uh, who didn't succeed in community college be able to uh, work on their brains and then go on to private college and doing well. I've seen people improve their IQ by over 20 points. And if you think that IQ can't change, um, let me just tell you that everybody knows that the brain has neuroplasticity. This is researched. Everybody knows it. Because there is neuroplasticity, that means that IQ can change. You can change the brain. Uh, and I've seen some of the kids that I worked with a long time ago become successful, independent adults. One of the most wonderful things we can hope for for our children. So some of the things that I've worked with, um, there was Allie, who uh, she had learning disabilities, and she had an IEP, and in a year and a half uh, was working without a tutor, without um, any accommodations, and on the honor roll. It was awesome. Uh, there was um, a few people I've worked with with autism. One was Christopher, who, when I first started with him, he kind of parroted, and I'd say, do you want to do this now? And he would say, yes, I want to do this now. And yet, after about five weeks of working on his brain, his dad came in and said, there's nothing left to do because he is speaking normally. He was doing great. He was done. My favorite thing is to be fired. <laughs> um, there was Susan, who within a month lost, she, was, she had autism, uh, lost her hypersensitivity to sound and became much more social. It, it was just striking because people weren't expecting these types of things. There's the 70 year old stroke victim who she had gone through all of her, uh, all of her um, uh, therapies, you know, that were given. And then when she was done, she still had poor uh, word retrieval, quite poor. And by the time we were done, and actually, uh, she also fired me early, which is great. Uh, she told me that she didn't need it anymore because she was able to talk to her cousin for over an hour on the phone without uh, having to have word retrieval issues. I think there was one word that she couldn't retrieve, which is pretty good. It's probably about average for the rest of us. Uh, there is a little girl who had low working, low active working memory. And this is the usual thing that kicks people into having learning disabilities. And when she was in her math class, um, she was in this very, very, very small math class where they had a lot of individual help. And by the time we were done, um, her math teacher said it was a miracle because she now not only could do math, but she was getting A's. And that was within, you know, once again, months. 
Uh, then there was the girl who had developmental delay, and um, she was adopted internationally. And so her mom told me just just uh, last semester, at the end of the year, uh, she got her report card, and it was straight A's. And so these things are are happening. And because I've been putting this information out there for so many years, um, people write me to tell me what uh, success they've had. So uh, here's one from a school. Good morning, Kathy. As promised, I wanted to give you an update on how our program has progressed at Lakewood Elementary School in w Wisconsin. Our team of three trainers began by working for f six weeks, six weeks only, with a pilot group of two third graders. Here are the results of our neediest student after just six short weeks, and they had some pre and post testing. Processing speed went up by three years, uh, auditory processing by a year and a half, logic and reasoning by four years, and word attack skills by five years. And, and so um, these are the things that we're working on. So don't you want to join us? Here's another one um, about, from a teacher uh, from California. Here we go. Just a quick note from California. I have a student that a year ago was basically a selective mute on the autistic spectrum. I've put a lot of work in class, working um, on the morrow, and can report that she changed like a light switch coming on. She is speaking in class. She will transition independently, is reading basic readers, and is exhibiting significantly fewer behaviors to the point that we may be removing the one-on-one -on -one behavioral specialist from her IEP. That was from Mark. Awesome. And the last one. Uh, this was another international adoption, and this boy was 18 years old. Woohoo! I wish you could see Tim now that we have come now that we have completed 30 days. He is now asking how and why questions, has never done that before. He is making decisions, never done before. He is making jokes, never done before. He is smiling and appears to be happy. He is becoming socially aware. His anxiety seems to be gone. It is unbelievable, all in capital letters. If I had not witnessed it myself, I would not believe it. So, I'm Kathy Johnson. I'm a brain trainer. I bring hope to the world. Would you like to join me? Please do.